welcome back to my channel today I'm filming something that's making me want to throw up right now even like thinking about talking about it but I think it's really important to talk about today I am talking about my experience today I'm talking about my eating disorder kind of my story with it I guess you could call it if I had seemed really like nervous in this video I am <laughs> this is not something that like is necessarily like fun for me to talk about at all but before I even dive into to my story. I need to disclaim this video. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a professional. I don't really know a lot about the ins and outs of eating disorders other than the one that I had and what I experienced. I'm making this video because a lot of you guys requested it and I know that a lot of you guys are going through it. I just think that it's something that I should talk about. Maybe or just like hopefully it'll help one of you. So yeah. Let's do it. So I moved out to California when I was 15 years old and I started out at this new school I've touched on it in a video in the past about the fact that I went to four different high schools Sophomore year I moved out to California and started at this school and the school that I started out at was a huge school And I wanted it that way I picked it But I thought I would have like the movie fairy tale life and go to a school where I didn't know anyone Knew nothing about anything where no one knew me and girl goes to new school girl gets friends girl falls in love girl has great experiences but that was the farthest thing from what happened I have really bad social anxiety so I'm not good at like making friends right off the bat I can come off as bitchy or shy or just like that I'm uninterested and in reality I just get a lot of anxiety and I didn't know how to handle it back then so instead of like trying to go out and make friends I completely secluded myself and would literally just be by myself at like all times and so what ended up happening which I have actually never admitted this to anyone I ate in the bathroom every single day for lunch for about however long a first semester is. It was like August through December, August, September, October, November, December. About five months. I would go in the bathroom during lunch and I would eat my two protein bars and I would read a magazine and then lunch would be over and I'd leave and no one would ever know. That is where everything kind of started. It was because I got so used to eating by myself. I actually got to the point where it was uncomfortable for me to eat in front of other people. It was literally stemming from the fact that I was like so used used to eating with only myself around every day when it got to the point of other people being around I like could not eat because I was so uncomfortable thinking that people were either watching me eat or whether people were judging me eating so that's kind of where it started fast forward to my second semester of my sophomore year I transferred schools because I was not doing well mentally emotionally like anything like that clearly at the school that I was at my first semester so I started this transition school and completely fell in love with it I was so upset with it. My classes started at like 9 in the morning and they went until about like 2.30 or 3. But because I was so in love with the school and loved the people I was around, loved my friends, loved my teachers, my school didn't close until around like 8 or 9 sometimes. It was also like a tutoring place. People were just had their own schedules because it was one-on-one -on -one learning. It was like one-on-one -on -one, so it was like you and the teachers so it was always accommodated to your schedule. So because of that and because I was so in love with the school, I would sometimes stay until like 4 p.m., 5 p.m., like 6 p.m sometimes even because I was just like so in love with it but I still wasn't over that feeling of being comfortable eating around people it wasn't until about the end of my sophomore year where people actually started to notice and people actually started to say things and how it worked at that point is I was kind of like starving myself all day and then I would binge at night and people started to say things like people started to say like why don't you eat are you never hungry like why won't you eat in front of people and I used to just say like I'm not hungry like I don't get hungry easily like that's what it is and I used to make up every excuse in the book and people bought it because when you look at me that's also the thing like when you looked at me at the time like you would not think that I was someone that had an eating disorder you know like I wasn't super thin I wasn't like concerningly skinny the same thing now like if you look at me now like you would never ever assume that I have like eating issues like slight eating issues like way less than what I did but like still sometimes like I get weird about it looking back and looking now like you would never ever assume that just because like I'm not the poster girl for an anorexia ad fast forward moving on to to my junior year this is when I kind of stopped eating altogether I'd go all day and night without eating and I wouldn't really think anything of it and this was when it became more of a body image concern I played this game with myself and I was competing against myself seeing how long I could go without having to eat anything I remember my longest time going without eating anything was two and a half days and I remember feeling like obviously I was like exhausted and like mentally and physically like not okay but I almost 
almost felt accomplished and like I achieved something because I had like beat my own personal record and had gone a substantial amount of time without eating anything. Now not only was I not eating in front of like my classmates and like my friends and things like that, like I stopped eating in front of my family, in front of like anyone, even myself, like I just wouldn't eat anything. Like looking back on it, I know now what I was doing. Like I'm a type of person that always needs to feel control in some sort of way in a situation. Like I need to feel like I have the power and that's been like a blessing and a curse in and of itself my entire life and looking back I, I was going through my first real heartbreak my mind was all over the place with school I was just not in a good place like emotionally and mentally and I felt so out of control and like I couldn't kind of fix things like the way I thought I should be able to so the only thing that I felt like I did have control of was what I ate and what I put into my body and like my eating habits that was the only thing that I felt like I can control that so I made sure to make it like extremely concerningly controlled to the point where I wasn't eating anything and over time in doing so you don't become hungry anymore you literally are just like you can't feel it it's not there and I remember the first time I passed out from not eating it was December of my junior year of high school so I was 16 and I went to the gym with my dad and my brother and I remember I was running on the treadmill I probably ran for like three or four minutes and my vision just went out like I was going in and out of my vision things were getting black and I just couldn't see clearly and so I remember I walked to the bathroom and had to have like my hand on the wall the entire time I remember I went to the handicap stall I locked the door and I literally just fell to the ground and I remember I laid there for probably about 20 minutes before I called my dad and I told him that we had to go I think he knew exactly what was going on but he kind of like spared me the lecture at the time and that's when my parents kind of started like honing in on the fact that I wasn't eating a lot and that it was kind of getting to a bad place so they took me to a doctor who told me that I had lost an overly concerned amount of weight they asked me like a bunch of questions about like my eating habits and sleeping habits and blah 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 the doctor basically diagnosed me with anorexia and to hear that was I didn't even know what to think at the time I remember I was just kind of like no like I don't have that like you're crazy in the back of my mind though like I knew. Then I remember when I went to college my freshman year, I did something really, really dumb. I remember before I left for school, I went to a vitamin store and I bought a bunch of diet pills. Pills that I didn't even know what they did, but if they said weight loss, like I was in and I bought it. At least like five or six different like types of pill bottles. And I remember I stuffed them with tissues so my parents wouldn't hear the sound of pills in my bag. It worked because they dropped me off, didn't hear anything, and they left I had like one of those pill containers that like you just put in all your pills for like the day and you just take them and all the pills that I would take for one day wouldn't fit in, in just one of the containers so I had two containers and I would take both containers for the day every single day I was taking 15 diet pills a day and my roommate didn't really say anything about it I think she knew but I don't think she knew the extent of it because if someone had told me that they were taking 15 diet pills a day I would have God knows what and look Looking back like that was so dumb. I literally remember like going throughout the day and hearing my heart. I felt like my heart was about to explode. Like my heart was beating so fast. Granted, like I was losing weight, but like 15 diet pills a day. Like was it worth it? Like no. My heart was beating so fast, so loud. Like it would be like me sitting here talking to you and being able to hear my heart beat like outside of my chest. It was scary. And so I did that for a couple months and then I stopped because I realized like it was actually making me like not be able to breathe as well. I was not able to do a lot of things that I used to be able to do like it was just a bad situation all in all so I just stopped doing those and that was about like a year and a half ago I want to say and like I said now like I'm not anywhere near how I used to be I don't freak out anymore if I have to go out to dinner with friends I don't make up excuses if someone asks me to go get a bite to eat with them or go get lunch with them it's something that I still struggle with a little bit but I've definitely gotten a lot better I hope this video kind of helped you guys in some way or another. You're not alone. What the fuck was that? And I love you a lot. Alright you guys, that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, all my links are going to be at the end of this video and in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Savannah. I make videos three days a week. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. You should subscribe, join the family. I love you guys a lot. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye guys. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm just trying to get to know ya.